Centuro, nitrogen stabilizer from Koch Agronomic Services, is the next generation nitrification inhibitor for anhydrous ammonia that offers highly effective protection and unequal flexibility in an easy to handle solution that is non-corrosive to the metals used in anhydrous and UAN equipment. In this video, we'll walk through the benefits, features, and proper procedures of operating the nitrification inhibitor pump. Following the outlined procedures can help ensure a safe, effective, and efficient season for you and your customers. When working with Centoro, mixers, loaders, applicators, and other handlers must wear long-sleeved shirt and long pants, shoes and socks, and waterproof gloves. Note this product is applied with fertilizer. Follow all additional restrictions and precautions, including protective equipment requirements relevant to the fertilizer product being used, including safety goggles, and for overhead exposure, chemical resistant headgear. Key features of the pump system include the 10 gallons per minute hydrocell positive displacement pump, which minimizes maintenance and downtime because there are no seals, packing, or cups to leak or replace. The hydrocell pump is powered by a two horsepower electric Baldor motor. The pump is powered by a standard or GFI 110 volt outlet. The pump also features the Murray TCS 682 positive displacement meter. Both the pump and meter are rated to 250 PSI. This custody transfer meter can be NTEP approved, allowing you to meet the legal requirements of liquid sales. The meter offers low pressure drop, high accuracy, and repeatability across a wide flow range. This design also offers improved accurate precision for increased inventory management. A 20-foot 1.5-inch suction hose, 30-foot 1-inch nylon braided and hydrous ammonia rated hose, with a Squib Taylor Minimum Bleed NH3 valve and a 25-foot 12-3 SJOW Froghide XT electrical cord all come standard with the pump and all parts are necessary for pump operations. It's important to prime the pump during the initial setup or when you experience an airlock from plumbing running dry. Follow the proper steps of the priming process to ensure it's done correctly. Hook up the suction line to tote line and turn those valves on. Place minimum bleed valve on top of the tote to recycle. Since this will be a custom amount, the operator will need to utilize the custom preset feature with the following steps. Place the container under the bleed hose and open bleed valve. Awaken keypad by pressing any number on the keypad. Enter 20 for this specific procedure. Press Enter button. Press Custom Start button. You may have to cycle valve to build pressure for flow. When meter starts to count, shut the bleed valve off. Let the pump continue to run to confirm all air has been bled out of the system and the meter runs consistently. Once you've confirmed the air has been bled out, remove the minimum bleed valve and close the lid, allowing the lid to vent. Product bled through the line can be recycled or properly disposed of after the priming process. The first procedure we'll be walking through is adding Centuro nitrogen stabilizer to a nurse tank with anhydrous ammonia already in the tank. Operators can fill through the liquid, vapor, or draw valve. Use caution when removing caps from a nurse tank trailer. Verify valves are closed before removing caps. Connect the minimum bleed valve to the desired valve on the nurse tank. Hit the reset button on the pump's keypad. Then select the correct preset we have already assigned to fill the nurse tank with the desired amount of Centuro. To show the stability of Centuro while being added to a nurse tank, the nurse tank pressure gauge will be shown during the entire pumping process. You'll notice throughout the pumping process there are no spikes in pressure but instead, a gradual steady increase eventually leveling off. Once the fill is completed, shut off the minimum bleed valve and close the nurse tank valve. Finally, remove the minimum fill valve from the nurse tank. 
In our second procedure, adding Centuro and anhydrous ammonia to a nurse tank simultaneously, you must always use caution when removing caps from a nurse tank trailer. Verify valves are closed before removing caps. Start by connecting the fill and vapor valves to the tank. Connect minimum bleed valve to the draw valve and open the valves before starting the pump. Start your anhydrous ammonia system. Hit the reset button on the pump system and then select the correct preset button and start the pump. Once the pumping of Centuro is complete, shut off the minimum bleed valve. Then shut off the anhydrous ammonia system. Remove minimum bleed valve from the nurse tank draw valve. Shut off fill and vapor valves followed by the tank valves and remove from the nurse tank. For a partial fill or a custom amount of Centuro, a simple conversion can help you determine what amount of Centuro is required to fill the tank. Take the pounds of anhydrous ammonia needed to be added to the nurse tank and divide by 400 to get the gallons of Centuro to add to the nurse tank. This amount can be entered into the pump as a custom amount. Help your growers effectively protect their nitrogen investment this season with Centuro. To learn more about Centuro or the pump, contact your KAS sales rep or visit Centuro.com. For more information on pump operations or troubleshooting, please refer to your pump operator's manual or contact Murray Equipment Incorporated or the KAS equipment team.